to be a world champion. Ladies and germs, welcome back to Local Nash. I'm your host, Marcus Johns, and this week we're doing something a little bit different. We're at the Franklin Rodeo 71st Annual Baby. Also, we got an antler. Let's see what we can get our hands into. They said there was no big cameras allowed, and we had to have press credentials. Well, we don't have that. We also don't even have tickets, so we're going to see if we can get into the Williamson County Agricultural Exposition Park. Did I read that weird? Yeah, I did. I did. Here we are at the entrance. We haven't made an attempt to get inside, but we do have a lot of people pouring in. It's about 5.30, so it's showtime. And we have some lovely young fiddle players. Let's go see what's going on with them. How's it going? Good. <laughs> you guys excited for the rodeo? Sure. What's your name, sir? Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown. You excited for the rodeo? What's your favorite part of the rodeo? I, w I would say probably the... Uh, bull riding, but I, I like it all. And if you had to do an event yourself, which one would you do? Probably the least for me getting hurt would be <laughs> tied down calf roping. Sure. What's your favorite event? The bull riding. Oh, the bull riding, of course. The bull riding, huh? Yes. Is that all the way from Dallas, Texas, to see this? How how how, how long was the drive? Um, it was like a, yeah, eleven hours. Hey, well, y'all enjoy it, okay? Oh, thank you so much. You see how I, I peppered in a little y'all? Because when you're at a rodeo, you gotta pepper in y'all. I've also just been kind of bringing it into the vocabulary lately. Are you guys excited for the rodeo? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, you know what my favorite interview was? The time I said, do you like the rodeo? And he said, mmm. <laughs> and he said, mmm. 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 <laughs> do you have press credentials? I'm going to pick them up, yes, sir. How did you get your press credentials? Uh, I work for the paper. Was it kind of a, a, a long process, or do you think it's possible for us to get credentials when you get it? handled by the owner. Okay, great. Nice. Well, well appreciate it. Sure. Y'all enjoy. Fun, All right, you too. When the press interviews the press, that's what we're here for. And he's our competition, and I looked him up and down, and I said, yeah, so how'd you get your credentials? Oh, oh, the owner got it? Well, guess what? I am the owner of Nokel Nash. Hey, guess what? I am the owner of Nokel Nash. You're talking to the CEO and president right here. And I'm going to get my credentials, too. Do you guys work for the Expo Center? Do you guys work for the grounds? So we have a large camera. And we, we don't have credentials, per yep. se, but yeah. we are local Nash. We were wondering if maybe we could get a little outside perspective of like, you know, what's going on and, and, and the operational side of things. Maybe do a little ride in the back of the gator and no, just see the world. From, maybe not that. Maybe not a ride in the back of the gator. So who are you with? You. I'm with you. Right? No, no, no. What, what network? It's called Local Nash. Local Nash. You work for the Ag Expo Park. I do. I'm the director here. You are the director. I am. So you are the you are the big boss hog that I uh, that I should have been talking to from the I, beginning. I am the one that everybody complains to. I got no complaints. I understand. All that. I'm looking for is a permit to come inside. Uh, uh, you <laughs> you will have to get to that from the Rotarians. Who would I have to talk to with the Rotarians? That would be Mr. Devin Gillum. Got it. Well, I appreciate the uh, the time. Yep. And uh, great work. We, we love the uh, the Expo Center. You guys do a great job, and we and we love the fair every year, and also the Christmas lights. That's awesome. Y'all do know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, we right do. There. Yes, we do. There you go. That's right. And you see, that's how it works, folks. You come out to the rodeo, you see a guy in an old John Deere, and you think, eh, he must just work here. You know, who knows? Maybe he's shoveling the manure, or maybe he's the top dog and we just talked to the top dog and now we know how to go straight to the freaking top to talk to Devin to get everything cleared so we can film inside the Ag Expo Center. So I say we go on a little mission, get inside and we see what's going on. Just waiting on press passes. This is the most legit thing local Nash has ever done. <laughs> Trying to get a press pass. 
it just seems so daunting to be like, oh, do you have your press pass? It's like, who do I have to be and what do I have to do to get one? Can you tell me more about Lipman? If, if you want to look this up here, well, I Googled it and it was a bar. So. No, not that. <laughs> not that bar? Yeah, not that bar. Okay. Yeah. So you have to wear this visibly. Okay. And this pass um, is a media pass. Um, and we appreciate you coming. Awesome. So. Thank you so much for having us. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we became part of the press. <laughs> Oh, and I didn't even have to pay for a rodeo tickets. And now I'm part of the press. Oh, I'm part of the media 2022. And just like that, folks, do you have a big camera? Rig it up on a huge rig, walk into any place and say, uh, who's in charge of this? You get the highest dog's name. You go up to the person who's working the front. You say, this person sent me and I need a media pass. And then they let you in. Oh! First impressions, it smells like a barn. And you know what? You're at the rodeo, so of course it's going to smell like a stinking, nasty barn. Oh my gosh, the Franklin Rodeo Cantina. Should we go into the cantina? We're pressed, we can go anywhere we want. Advanced purchase only, but what if we're media? Should we try to get in? Like, literally, we just walked in and nobody cared. So, uh, I'm gonna try to find us some popcorn. We found the freaking popcorn. And now it's gonna be an amazing night. American as it gets. If you've never been to a rodeo, you're gonna get smacked in the face by America. It's just gonna be like, oh god, whoa, that was America. Like we do when we're doing local Nash, we're doing a hot dog. Cheapest in the city. Is it the cheapest in the city? I have no idea. Cheapest in the city. Sing it. Cheapest in the city. Cheapest in the city. Yes, that's what I need. And they are because you sang it. Yes, and 25% because you were a sweetheart. Thank you very much. I don't know if we do the bull now because I just ate. I'm going to feel like absolute toink, dude. I mean, there's a little kid on it. He's going speed one. But I mean, I'm going speed 10 right out of the gate. And you know I'm going to chuck up my lunch. All right, fine. Let's do it. Also, I'm riding one of these mini horses. And if they tell me no, I'm going to literally throw a fit. Nice to meet you. I need you to put this bull on level 10 as hard as you can go right out of the gate. Give me, give me a real bull. Give me something that's like a real, yeah, give me like the equivalent of a real bull. Yep. Yep. Dude, there's no way to ride that for longer than a second. This kid thinks he can do better than me level 10. Not even a second, dude. We all suck. And now he's getting it baby style. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it baby style, so go ahead and enjoy that. A real bull is no joke, dude. Ah, but I think that that is harder than an actual bull, because it moves in ways that a bull couldn't. Oh my gosh, look who it is. Look how we got in. We got in it because you name dropped, and we name dropped, and they gave us a press pass. Can go. you believe it? There you go. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Oh, they're getting, oh my God, kiss to the camera. It's getting I'm, wild. I'm from New York. Hi, Local Nash. This is Grace Meany speaking from New York. And I just want to say, y'all have the best reporter on duty. You have the best rodeo. And I wish I was here 24 seven. I have been to a lot of rodeos. I used to live in Wyoming, but this is one of the best rodeos. Is it really? I've ever been to. And it's only been a few minutes, so I mean, that's just saying a lot. Absolutely, the only complaint I have is, why don't we sell beer? Oh my gosh, I think I felt that through the camera. You're not a city girl. I'm a Hamptons born and raised. Born in the Hamptons girl? Born in the Hamptons. But then moved out to Wyoming? 
Moved down to Wyoming, moved back, and now I'm in Tennessee trying to find my little cowboy man. So well, you're out there. I think that you I'm just, here. I think you just blew that guy a kiss. Let me find him and come find me. Oh, he's going to find you. He may even find you tonight. I love it. I'm ready. If you don't have cowboy boots and a hat on, I don't want it. And if you don't have horse manure on the bottom of your boots, I don't, don't want, want it. it. And if he doesn't have a piece of straw in between his teeth, she I don't, don't want, want it. it. To be if, honest, I'm just here for the barrel racers. You're just here for the barrel. Do you race? No. Yourself? No, no. You but they're like, hot. You like barrel racing. They're hot. And to be honest, I'm you here mean for they're the hot. What, what do you mean? They're fine. Yeah. Barrel race is only for girls, right, for the most part? I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. I've never been to a dang rodeo before. Just for the girls. It's just for the girls. Okay, yeah, just for the girls. Sure. Are we gonna Are we gonna find a lovely lady tonight? Oh yeah. Beer yes. And beer and women. But you're a little young for beer. No, we're 21. No, you're not 21. Age There's no way, dude. Guys, you have races. There's no way you're 21. You're you're you're, <laughs> fi you're you're 16 at best. You're probably 14. Let's be honest. How do you know? We are. Lovely ladies, are we like are we liking the rodeo tonight? We it's love amazing. the rodeo. There are some young men over there that were looking for some barrel racing ladies. I don't know if you want to connect, <laughs> but go. they're a little bit on the young side. I have to admit. How do you know? We are. No, no way. What are you doing? Here? Good to see you. Too. I don't know if you guys remember my bike video where I think it was captioned like, "I built a bike for 90 bucks." This is Joel who helped us build a bike, and he was in the race, and he basically, I would say you probably won the race. You were the most ballsy. Well, you had the worst bike. I also had the most energy, because I was- You did, uh, you were alive. Most of the time, yeah. You were alive. When we blazed through that campground, oh, all yeah. those speed bumps, and we were like jumping at the very end. Oh, dude, that was that wild. That was so much fun. It's time to take a little tinky, stinky tinkle. Pee pee. All right, so we finally took ourselves a seat. We found some empty stairs. Oh, 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 there he goes. Oh! He got him. He got him. And in, in, in a way, it's kind of sad, let's be honest. And in a way, it's kind of amazing and cool. And that has to be done, I guess, sometimes on a farm. You know, it, it, it must be done. And so they're showing how it's done. So, I mean... Yeah, it's a little sad, but you know, it must be done. All right, so here comes another one. Guy's gonna get released with a little cow. He's gonna, he's gonna rope it down. Here he goes. Oh my gosh, and he stinks. He's literally having the most embarrassing, worst time of his life. That cow is just running around now. Look at that little baby calf just running. Oh, here we go, here we go, get her. And yeet! Yeah, oh, that was a sad one. Yeah, I get that 10 out of 10 for sad. <laughs> That's my vote. Hey, my vote was 10 out of 10 for sad. Nice one. Dude, look, this guy's selling light ups and swords. And How many do you think you sell in one night? Hundreds. You know, I talked to a balloon guy in downtown Nash, and he wouldn't spill the beans, but I like that you actually told me what the sale is and what the sale price is. So how much is one of these guys? 10 bucks. All right, well, you enjoy, and best of luck to you tonight. Just the atmosphere. The atmosphere. All right. All right, man. You know, that's funny because he didn't hear what I said. And it's better to just say, yeah, the atmosphere. Because if you try to correct someone and say, you know, actually I said have a good night or whatever the heck I said, I don't remember. It's just, it's too much. It's going to be too awkward. You just got to say, yeah, yeah, the atmosphere. One, two, three. Yee! One, two, three. Look at this. Dude, dude, the advertisements are on horses going in circles. That's how I want an ad break. I want horses to ride around the arena, and I want to say, oh, Ram, cool, nice. Like, I wonder how much that ad was for Ram to pay a chick to run around. Wait, wait. Dude, they have kids on sheep straight now. Look at this kid. Go, go, go! Sheep like halfway across the arena, dude. These are kids on sheep. I never knew this was possible. This is this is this is 10 out of 10 happiness that parents are subjecting their child to riding. Yay! I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to get the rodeo. Come on, come on. There he goes. That she. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Wow! Yee -yee -yee! All right, 
I get it. I get it. I get it now. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Dude! That kid just got the wind knocked out of him. For sure. How are these parents allowing their kids to do this? If you keep misbehaving, you're gonna ride a sheep this summer. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing the only legalized form of child abuse in America today. Literally, dude, you that's what I was saying. There's like a thousand kids trying to get a ribbon off the back of a cow right now. And none of these kids signed waivers, obviously. Oh, come on, come on, don't be scared, kids. Oh, he grabbed it by the tail, oh my goodness. I've never been to a rodeo, and I highly recommend that you go to a rodeo and see what it's all about. Oh my gosh, dude, this dude's flying. There we go, there we go. Yep. Send it, boy! Yee! Yep, 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 yep. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, turn it on, boy! Turn it on, boy! Yeah! I give this one 10 out of 10 for happy. Nice little blue one for daddy. There he goes. He's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's up there. Come on. Yeah! Yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta love the crowd interaction. If the nature boy rips the night live all over the world here in Franklin. All right. All right. It was an interesting night. It kind of ended very rapidly because they were like, "We're about to go into extra innings," and then it was like, "Oh wait, no, we're not. See you on Saturday." And it was like, "Oh, okay. I guess we're leaving." So people are walking out, and that's that. So let's head on out. Here they all are. This is where they stay. Here's our clown guy. We need to get down here and, and see the situation. That's, that's what we need to do. Hey, bud. This guy's just like, dude, I, I'm off for the night. I just performed all night. Like, I just want to eat my hay and just, like, chill. That, that, he's got a big ding dong right now. <laughs> You're going to have to blur that. That's way too much. So how was the night, guys? Did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Yeah. I could see that. I could see that. But overall, a good time? Okay. All right, yeah. And and you are a very sweet horse, so. <laughs> oh, this is this is the clown himself. Are you the clown of the night? What is your name, sir? I'm Dusty. How you, you doing? You did a great job, Dusty. Man, I appreciate very it. Very high energy. Well, thank you. Have, now I'm going to go sleep. Have you ever been slammed in this little bucket thing before? What Actually, was this deal? Actually, quite often. That's my clown barrel. Yeah, I get it pretty regularly. You'll probably see it so tomorrow I was night. So I was lucky to not see it then, huh? Yes, yes. You'll probably <laughs> see it tomorrow night because usually I don't make it a full weekend without getting run over. All right, fair enough. Well, you get some sleep and good work tonight. Man, I agree. Appreciate you guys. All Thank right, y'all. Yeah. And there you have it, ladies and germs. That was the Franklin Rodeo. We had a great night. We got media passes. We didn't even expect to get in, but we did. We did all the things on the outside. We did all the little games. We met cool people. We had some interesting interviews. We saw some animals and we met this guy. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> and that is, that's the summary of the night. So if you guys liked it, if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment your favorite part, and we'll see you next week on Local Nash.